While most of the flooding here has receded, South Suburban residents are now left to clean up the damage tonight. And for many of them, it's not the first time. In fact, within only the last few months. The watermark here. In each step we took in Jovan Davidson's basement, All this damage. we could still feel the water under our shoes. Everything was standing up and soaked, so now this is all. Now it's all flooding, it's floating. So the water has gotten pretty high. She showed us the damage to her Calumet City home after she says the seemingly small leak in her kitchen ceiling would eventually lead to her basement swallowed by flood water. As rain outside Sunday pounded the south suburbs. You lose a lot of your things that are memories that you can't get back. And this is, like I said, the third time that this has happened to me in this house in the last past three months. Firefighters wading through high waters to rescue stranded drivers who some had to abandon their cars. Get your keys on your right yes. Chopper 7 was above places where even our own crew couldn't get to, showing roads turned into pools. Businesses were impacted too. This video shows water seeping through the front door of a clothing store in Dalton, soaking the floors and some merchandise. I haven't seen anything like that. We've been in the same location for 30 years. This is the first time the flooded this bad. We got one of the oldest sewer systems in the south suburb, as do many communities. That's why Calumet City Mayor Thaddeus Jones says it could take some time for south suburban residents to recover from today's downpour. Mayor Jones says FEMA is already in the south suburbs helping out homeowners who are still reeling from the July floods. He says the city will now have to apply for additional assistance through the governor to help the homeowners now impacted by this recent flooding. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.